Hi, this is Kenneth Wong here, a Burmese American writer from San Francisco. This is the tenth episode in my YouTube series on conversational Burmese. In this lesson, I want to tackle the yes no questions, the type that you'd have to respond with either an affirmative or a negative answer. Let's go. Let me take you back to one of the earliest phrases you learned. Remember how to ask someone, How are you? It's Ni kang la. How are you? Ni kang la. Let me break it down for you. Ne means to be or to feel. Gang is the adjective for well or good. La, well, that's the most common word that you would use in Burmese to ask a yes no question. So if somebody is asking who, what, where, when, why, the W questions that reporters usually ask, it usually ends with le, not la. For example, where do you live? Be ma ne le. Be is the word for where. Ma is the preposition et. Ne is the verb to be, to live. Le is the word to ask one of those W questions. Take a look at another example. Ba sa jin le. What do you want to eat? Ba is the word what. Sa is the verb to eat. Jin is also another verb. To want or to desire. In this case, this verb is a helping verb to moderate the primary verb to eat. Sa. Le, the final word, is the word that you would use to ask those who, what, where, when, why. W questions. Let's concentrate in this lesson on the yes no questions. The simplest way to ask a yes no question in Burmese is to start with an adjective followed by the word la. Take ne kang la. For example, if you drop ne, the verb to be, and just use the adjective gang with la, it becomes a question. Gang la, that means, is it good? Once again, gang la, is it good? Simply put, gang is the adjective for good and well. La is the word that you would use to ask a yes no question. That's different from le, the word that you would use to ask the W questions involving who, what, where, when, why. So, kang la, is it good? Let's repeat it a few times to remember it. Is it good? Kang la. One more time. Is it good? Kang la. One more time. Is it good? Kang la. All right, now, my English prompt followed by your Burmese. Is it good? That's right. It should be kang la. If you now know this formula, you can start replacing the adjective for good with other ones to form different questions. For example, the adjective for hot is bu. Now, this is the Burmese p, which is different from the English p. In fact, it's not a p, but it's a b. Not the p sound from the popular or post office that you are used to hearing, you have to find the P from spouse or spoon. What's the difference, you would ask? Well, there is a slight difference. With the P in the popular or the post office, a puff of air comes out of your mouth. When you say spoon, spouse, Spain or splendid, that does not happen. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Burmese P or rather the Burmese B. B. If gang la is, is it good, you can probably figure out that bu la is, is it hot? Repeat it with me. Is it hot? Bu la. Is it hot? Bu la. Is it hot? Bu la. Now my English followed by your Burmese. Is it hot? Great. That's bu la. So by the same formula, you can also ask, is it cold? The adjective for cold is chan in Burmese. Let me repeat it again, chan. So if you want to ask somebody, is it cold? You'll say, chan la. One more time, is it cold? Chan la. What about hungry? The adjective for hungry is sa. Once again, it's sa. So if you want to ask somebody, are you hungry? You'll say, sa la. The you is actually implied, so you really don't have to say it in the sentence. Are you hungry? Sa la. 
A word of caution on the tones. Burmese is tonal. That means sa, sa, and sa have three different meanings. Sa, with a vowel sound that ends abruptly, is to begin. Sa, with a relaxed, longer vowel, is hungry. Sa, with a vowel tone that sounds like you're raising your voice like an opera singer, is to eat. A verb. So to say hungry correctly, you have to use a second tone, the one with a longer, relaxed vowel, sa, not sala, not sala. It's sala. I hope you can hear the difference. Let's repeat it with me, please. English first, followed by Burmese. Are you hungry? Sala. One more time. Are you hungry? Sala. One more time. Are you hungry? Sala. Now my English, followed by your Burmese. Are you hungry? That's right. It's sala, and it's not sala. It's not sala. It's sala. I'm going to help you figure out now how to respond to these yes/no questions. Okay? If someone asks, "Bulao," is it hot? And you want to answer in the affirmative, shall we say? All you have to do is recycle the same adjective and end the sentence with "de." You will say "bude." Is it hot? Somebody asks. Bula. You want to answer yes. You will say it is hot. Bude. One more time. It's hot. Bude. Same formula. If somebody asks you "chala," is it cold? You can say "chande." It's cold. Let me repeat it. Is it cold? Chala, someone asks, and you answer, it is cold. Chande. Let's try practicing it with a new adjective. The word for far in Burmese is way. Okay, I just realized this one could be kind of confusing because when a place is far, sometimes in English you would say far away, or maybe it might make it easier for you to remember it that way. So remember that in Burmese, far is way. So if you want to ask somebody, "Is it far?" you would ask, "Wila," and if you'd like to answer in the affirmative, "It is far." Wede. Once again, be careful with the tone. It's not wede. It's not wede. It's wede. You have to open up your vowels and pretend like you're an opera singer. So out of the three possible tones, we, 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 you have to pick the third tone. The last one, wede. Now, how would you answer in the negative? For instance, here's the formula: It's not far, mawebu. Ma is the word that you will insert in front of the adjective to make it a negative statement. We, as we have discussed, is the adjective far. In this case, mawe make it not far. Bu is a negative sentence and word. In other words, it is the word that you would have to use the end your sentence when you're making a negative sentence. The way to easily remember that is this. Here's my mental trick. Okay, when you have to say no, it's a boo boo. That should make you remember. Let's try practicing question and answer in the negative format. Is it far? Wela. It's not far. Mawebu. One more time. Is it far? Wela. Is not far, mawebu. One last time. Is it far, wela? It's not far, mawebu. Good. Now my English followed by your Burmese. All right. Is it far? That's right. It's wela. Now try the answer in the negative. It's not far. Good. It's mawebu. With the same formula, you should also be able to figure out how to say it's not cold, it's not good, or it's not hot. Is it cold? Chala is not cold. Machambu. Is it good? Gaula is not good. Makambu. The last one. Is it hot? Bula is not hot. Mapubu. Now things get more complicated as you add time indicators, place indicators, and other components. For example, is it hot in Mandalay? 
Mandali ma bula. Is it hot in Mandali? Mandali ma bula. Mandali, of course, is the name of the town. Ma is the preposition et. Bula, you have learned it before, is is it hot? If it is, you answer Mandali ma bude. It's hot in Mandali. One more time. Mandali ma bude. If it is not hot in Mendeley and you'd like to answer in the negative, you'll have to say Mandalay Ma Mapubu. Remember, because you are saying a negative sentence, you have to end the sentence with bu, not de, like the affirmative sentences. The trick that I taught you, remember, is when you have to say no, it's a boo boo. So it's not hot in Mendeley. Mandalay Ma Mapubu. Let's throw in one more thing. The word for today is dine. One more time. The word for today is dine. So someone might ask, is it hot in Mandalay today? Dine, Mandalay ma, bula. Dine, the word for today. Mandalay is the name of the town. Ma, preposition et. And bula is the question. Is it hot? Put them all together. Is it hot in Mandalay today? Dine. Mandali ma bula. So put the formula you have learned to use. If it is hot in Mandalay, you would say Dine Mandalay ma bude. One more time. It's hot in Mandalay today. Dine Mandalay ma bude. On the other hand, if it is not hot, you will say it's not hot in Mandalay today. Dine Mandalay ma mabubu. One more time. It's not hot in Mandalay today. Dine, Mandalay ma, mapubu. Well, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, I have the good fortune to live in San Francisco where the temperature is almost always mild and often cold. So let me finish up by saying Dine, San Francisco ma, mapubu. Thanks for listening. Jesu te mare. See you later. Naumatwe me.